sunset's coming earlier and earlier here, so <laughs> light isn't very good here. Sorry about that. I'm going to do the best I can here with the electric lights here, but we're going to figure out what we can do to show you making me dinner tonight here because I'm doing something interesting. But anyway, I'm back here at Ricker Pond State Park in Groton, Vermont. Yeah, I was here last year, maybe a little bit earlier in the season, but this time I got here pretty close to peak fall color. It is absolutely beautiful up here. And of course, it's a bit of a drive here, so I didn't get in here until about, oh, I don't know, 4.30. Took me a while to get things set up. I focused on setting up rather than shooting video. And in the sunset approach, I went out and shot those clips of the uh, pond, Ricker Pond out there. So, anyway, here I am. Let's see, I've got my lean to. Hey, this is a better light on me. There we go. <laughs> That's better. I got my lean to here this time, so I kind of splurged. Well, I paid a little extra to get the lean to. Set my hammock up in here and things like that. We'll have my kitchen area set up inside and everything. This will be fun. It'll be a fun little setup here, so I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, so I got a few things uh, to talk about here on my setup here that I'm working on. So it might be better if I go to do, show you inside the van here where I got some light. I'm trying to make a few changes to how I handle my food. Uh, trying to find as many things as I can that don't require refrigeration because my uh, my fridge is small it, it, it's a tiny fridge over here and it's always jam-packed with stuff in it so I've been working and picking up a few things obviously not paper towels and toilet paper but <laughs> nor a loaf of bread I always have some bread with me but, nor vanilla extract for that matter but what I do have is a few uh, items here that I'm going to test out here. First of all, I'm making pizza tonight. And then after that last incident there, where I brought pizza crust along with me and from the, uh, the Pillsbury can stuff, and the can exploded in my fridge, I realized that's not going to be an effective approach. So I'm going to try this out instead. It's Betty Crocker pizza crust mix. So just add water to it, and uh, yeah. It also might solve some of my uh, problem where I don't need the whole can of pizza crust because this, I don't need the whole bag of it either but it's dry and it doesn't require refrigeration which means I can just take out what I need mix in the amount of water I need with it and make my pizza that way so that's one of the things I've got here let's see what else we got that's yeah, just my croissant oh yeah, we'll get to that in a minute too this I've had on here before. This is my uh, shredded potatoes for breakfast. That doesn't require any refrigeration. Pizza sauce doesn't require refrigeration until I open it. Tissues <laughs> definitely doesn't require refrigeration. Here we are. Okay, we'll get to that one too. Cookie mix. Same thing. I've been buying those uh, pre-made refrigerated cookies you just break up and... and uh, put in the baking pan and bake it. So I'm going to try this instead. Mix up what I need. Yeah, the, the only ele element in here that it requires it requires refrigeration is butter. And even that can just come out of the fridge for a while. So some butter, some water, and then the other tricky part. It needs an egg. So I picked this up. Like this came from REI. This is actually real egg, but it's freeze-dried egg crystals. I wanted to try these out. Two reasons. One, it will make it easier for baking these sorts of things without refrigeration. And it gives me something to, that I can make if I'm out. I mean, it didn't happen this year because of my abdominal issues, but I do want to try kayak camping. So I actually load everything I need up into my kayak, uh, row out to a, a remote campsite and stay there for the night. But God to bring refrigeration, refrigerated stuff with me, and I can't carry a very big cooler on the kayak. So if I try some stuff like this, this might work. I've got this stuff gets really good reviews. It's expensive. It cost me about ten bucks for this little thing. It's basically ten bucks for a dozen eggs. So it's it's pricey. But I'm gonna try some of this for, as part of a breakfast, and I'm gonna try uh, cooking, baking all the stuff that needs eggs with it. I think next time. I know my vegetarian uh, viewers will appreciate this, but next time I need to try baking stuff on a future trip, I'm going to buy the Red, is it Red Mill? Red Mill something or other. Or Bob's Red Mill. Or so, something along those lines. 
they make a, a powdered egg substitute. It's all completely, uh, I guess, plant-based. It's also powdered just like this stuff is, but it's half the price of this and you get the equivalent of about 34 eggs out of it. Obviously it's not good for making uh, scrambled eggs for breakfast, but it would be great for baking cookies and things like that. Anything that requires egg in it, because I got this and I've got some cornbread that I'm going to be making up during this trip too. That'll be part of tomorrow's dinner. That also requires an egg in it. So if I get that stuff, geez, these things will be almost vegan. <laughs> not quite in the cookies though, because it does say it has some uh, non-fat milk in it. But almost. Almost almost vegan cookies here. <laughs> not that I'm vegan at all, but... but uh, I don't know, sometimes I wonder if I should start uh, cutting back on the amount of uh, meats and stuff I intake. Maybe that's part of my abdominal issues. Maybe it will help. Who knows? But anyway, so that's what I'm working on here. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to really uh, show video of me making the pizza tonight because uh, it's getting too dark. I got in too late for it, but I'm still making the pizza anyway, so we'll try to show you what I can. It's just not going to be so easy. But yeah, that's what I'm working on. I'm trying to rely less on the refrigerator. I mean, I'm not getting rid of the fridge. It's staying. There's certain items like milk and that I still like to have in my coffee and all my drinks and things like that, but it's always just so jam-packed with stuff. If I have uh, less things that require refrigeration, then that'll work out great. No, I'm not giving up on uh, real eggs in there for, in favor of this stuff, but this will be uh, this is more of an experiment. It's too expensive to be sustainable, but I wanted to try it out. All right, well, I'm going to start making uh, dinner, get the fire pit going, things like that. We'll, uh, we'll check in with you as soon as I have enough light to do so. Oh, yeah, I meant to talk about this, too. This is uh, trash bags. Trying something a little different on these, too. These are compostable trash bags, so they're biodegradable. I always worry there with the amount of uh, trash bags I'm always filling up and throwing away there. Plastic's going to hang around for a while. Now, I've tried this brand's uh, other products before. They, they, they have some uh, compostable plastic utensils and I really wasn't impressed with them but I figured I'd give the trash bags a try. The problem with the plastic utensils is that they tend to uh, break real easy. I wasn't impressed with that so I stopped getting those unfortunately. I still try to use the uh, reusable washable dishes as much as possible anyway but sometimes the plastic utensils are good when I'm on a quick trip there with my brother or something and I don't really want to spend too much time washing dishes. So this is what I'm going to be using for a trash bag on this trip here. Try this stuff out, see how it holds up uh, for a day or so of use. It's really thin plastic and it definitely feels a lot weaker than the stuff I've been using. But let's give it a try. It'd be kind of kind of nice to not have the uh, trash bag sitting around in a trash uh, uh, dump forever. So <laughs> we'll see how that plays out. We'll try it. All right, now we'll check in later. Sorry about the terrible lighting, but here's the finished pizza. We got all kinds of toppings on it, cheese and things like that. So, <laughs> we'll we'll let you know how it came out uh, later on here because I won't be able to set up the camera while I eat it. But there it is. So, so far so good. So good morning. Uh, yeah, got just just got too dark to keep uh, keep video going last night, so I had to stop. Unfortunately, I was would have loved to have shown you the whole making of that pizza. That was a fun one to make. A uh, little, little bit on the sticky side, <laughs> things like that, but making it from that powdered stuff was a great idea. And now I've got half a bag left for a future pizza. And I'm thinking I'm getting pretty close to getting those pizzas right. But anyway, it's morning here. A little chilly, but not too bad. Uh, it's actually about 61 degrees out right now, but the humidity's uh, up at about 95%, so I'm still in t-shirt and shorts. Uh, slept pretty good last night. Ended up going to bed a little bit early, but... I meant I got up a little bit early there, took a walk around the uh, lake this morning with just the uh, photo camera, took some pictures of it, and now I'm back here about 9 o'clock this morning and I'm going to make some, some breakfast. So this morning I'm just going to make a simple uh, croissant, a egg, egg and cheese croissant. Uh, no bacon this time because I didn't bring any with me. I ran out of bacon, used up the last of my bacon on my last trip, and... At seven bucks a pack, I just didn't feel like spending the money on it this time, so, <laughs> so I didn't buy a new one. It's just too expensive right now. So I'll wait, find it on sale again, but in the meantime, I don't have any bacon on me, so there'll be no bacon for breakfast this morning. May not be such a bad thing. Yeah, I've got a... I, so after all, I still have those ongoing abdominal issues there. Maybe uh, I should do some diet changes anyway, so maybe it's for the better. So anyway, 
So we're going to just make a simple egg and cheese croissant. I'm not going to bother putting it on video because you've seen me do that plenty of times before. But that's my plan for breakfast. But I'm going to show you a little bit around the setup here. I got the uh, whole thing Jack Park back here. I originally had it pulled it all the way up here so the side door would exit out right in front of the uh, lean to, which would have been awesome there. But <laughs> the, the ground is very unlevel once you get down here, unfortunately, and the uh, van had a significant slope to it, so I had to back it back up there where it's a little bit more level. So, uh, oh well. But not too bad over here. It seems to be uh, working out fine. It's nice and level here. I slept great. Nice and warm. I kicked the heat on this morning when I got up. Uh, yeah. 80s, 80s in the day and 50s at night, so I'll just kick the heat on and warm it up before I got out of bed, that's all. Didn't run for very long. But, anyway, nice quiet place. I did get recognized again. <laughs> I was off my little morning walk there with the camera. Uh, somebody recognized me again, so that was good. I know people are watching this channel. Uh, so it's happening more and more, I'm getting recognized, because I keep going back to the same places I've done tour videos of, and... A lot of people watch my tour videos, I know that. You know, people want to see what there is for sites before they come out here. and that's, that's the, the tour videos don't get me a lot of subscribers, but they certainly get me uh, some view, watch hours anyway, so they get me some viewers. <laughs> uh, yeah, but on the tour videos, a lot of people just come in, they watch the one tour video because that's all they're interested in. They don't want to watch my whole uh, travel vlog or anything, but I guess that's understandable. But, but for those who are around here watching uh, everything I do, Thank you very much for coming along for the ride. So as we get later into the season, the sun sets earlier. And it sure is making it hard to shoot video for the first night. With that, stay tuned for the next video. I'll explore some of the trails around Ricker Pond and find out if I actually get my kayak out. So thanks for watching. Remember, slow down and enjoy life. And I'll talk to you guys later.